It's time to get magical. Today we're taking a look at the high grade kit for Grimoire. Being the second kit in the Reconquista and G line, this kit offers some pretty decent color separation and a nice amount of accessories. And I like how it's a definite departure from what you would usually expect from the Gundam line. Now, what we want to look at is some articulation. The head can chicken neck. Look up that much. Look down about that much. Tilt side to side and go around 360 degrees. Like usual, there's a ball joint in the torso and a poly cap that pulls forward only that far on this kit. Together, the arms can only come up about that high. The arm can come forward before bumping into this piece right here that far and go back about the same. If you pull the arm out a little bit, I guess you can get it to go 360 degrees. Swivel below the shoulder. Double jointed elbow that can only go 90 degrees. Ball jointed wrist. And there is a hinge added onto the wrist. Watch out. Watch out. The torso moves at two points. At the top, can tilt forward, tilt back, and side to side. And the bottom can do a little bit of the same thing. And we've got double body copter. The vents on the front skirt can swivel like so. Come up that far. Side skirts can come up that far. And as usual, the back skirts don't move at all. The Grim Reaper's legs can kick forward that high kick back that far and come out to the side for the crotch copter swivel at the thaw single jointed knee ankle armor can wobble and dobble dang cool rockers feet can point up that far point down that far now that we've seen the grim adventures of billy and mandy's articulation let's look at those accessories one plasma knife one shield and submachine gun also can attach beam wire effects pieces another cool thing about Nickelodeon's Grimm's fairy tale classics model kit is that like okay is that you see you see this knife uh, you can take this knife and you can pop off the back skirt see like here it comes okay there and then you can put the knife in there like you can just kind of stick it i think it goes this way i've actually never done this you stick it oh my god this is so this is so tough this is okay i got this i can do this all right okay i think it goes in like this okay so you put the knife in like so and then you lock the back skirt back in and now the knife is in there see and now he can he can store his knife on his butt you see that it's really cool like and i really like that and it also has another one it's got two of these i, got, I kept this one straight so if i wanted to do like a straight one like a it's backwards I'm like you can do it like like a like you know i can do it like that and that's that's really awesome right that's pretty cool now i can say the kit for grim and evil is a pretty decent kit it does have some flaws i don't understand some of uh some of the design choices it kind of blocks the articulation right right in here and the double jointed elbow but single joint movement and the single i guess i can let the single jointed knee slide because of the giant calf muscle i guess but it's still a fun kit to mess around with i've been able to get it in some pretty awesome poses uh I definitely like the design. It was an easy build, and one thing I've been noticing about the kits from this show is faces. That's another face. I don't understand why it's there, oh, oh, but it's there. 
Um, I'm actually curious as to what the rest of you guys think about this show. So, if you want to, leave some comments. Tell me if you think the show doesn't make any sense. I myself don't. I just think it'd be interesting to hear other people's opinions. Anyways, thanks for watching the review.